Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. This one is a little bit different because it's a collab between me and Tiffany from Little Toe. I'm super excited to do this collab with her just because I watch all of her videos even before she knew I existed. She's super talented, everything she makes is amazing, and I literally want everything she makes. Before I get started, here's a little hello from Tiffany. Hi, my name is Tiffany and my YouTube channel is On The Go With Little Toe. I'm a New York City based performer originally from Malaysia and I started my YouTube channel last year to document all of the projects I was sewing and upcycling. I am so excited to be doing this collab with Nock. I first found her on TikTok and was just blown away by her talent. When I found out she had a YouTube channel, I reached out to her immediately and I am so excited to be doing this thrift flip challenge with her. Aw, isn't she so sweet? You guys should definitely check her out, like go there and check out everything she does because they're just magical. And without further ado, here's past me explaining what the challenge was all about. So for the challenge, we each send each other $10 worth of thrifted goods and do a surprise flip. And so I got her package right here. Super cute. You see, it's cute, so sweet. There we go. Um, and we'll open it. I'm kind of a little afraid to open it because it's so nice event. It. Oh, that's so cute. Very cute. Thank you, Tiffany, if you're watching this. <laughs> okay, first. Ooh. I think it's a set. Cute set. I love the pattern. Very cute. And then let's see. A dress shirt. <laughs> I love that she picked out colors that goes well together, so it makes the challenge a little easier for me. I'm excited. Starting with the floor top. I wanted to make it into a backless cowl neck top, so I cut off a rectangular ish panel, folded in the three corners shown here, and for these two edges, I trimmed them down and sew along the edges. This is what it looks like when done. I then took the piece and draped it around the dress form to see how I can shape the bottom. Once I was happy with how it looked, I tacked on the two pleats at the bottom using the sewing machine. Next, I cut up two skinny rectangular pieces to make the straps and two less skinny pieces for the waist strap. Because the material was a little slippery, I used tissue paper underneath when I was making the strap to help ease into the machine and does not get like sucked down into the bottom. Once I added the shoulders and waist straps, I was done with the top. I'm sorry it was not shown here. For the bottom, I separated the original skirt into two rectangle pieces and began draping them on my dress form to see what would look best. I then pinned down where I need to sew, sew it together, and then cut off the excess fabric. The last part was to add a waist belt and I was done. And then I got super lazy to film the process what I did with the men's shirt, but I used the same pattern that I used with this shirt to create a small crop top slash corset look. And here are the results. Let's see what Tiffany thinks. Oh my gosh! Wait, that's so pretty! I love, love the backless. And the, the slits in the front, that's so pretty. The way you overlapped the skirt. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Is it a dress or is it two pieces? It's two pieces. Um, I like to do two pieces just because I think they're more versatile when I get dressed and can wear them separately. So I always usually do two pieces. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love the, so the top is like a tie, like tie halter and then backless. Oh my God, it's so cute. Thank you. I love it. Oh my gosh, how did you cut the skirt that way? Uh, so that was a funny story. Um, so I cut up the skirt in the seam and then I was like, hey, what do I do with this? I really like the bottom of the, the, uh, the floor, the bottom is horizontal. But I know that, or like for my body, I'm very short. I think that's horizontal will make me look shorter because it cuts off the eye. So I was like, I want to turn this vertical. And so I play around with on the mannequin actually more than anything. And I was like, oh, this looks good. And then I sew it together. 
It looks so good and it looks so good on you. Thank you for choosing a fabric. It was like, I think it's the first time I really work with non woven. That's a little has stretched to it. Uh, yeah. So that was a lot of fun for me because, like, ooh, like I can like do a little mistake and still fine versus woven. If I do a little mistake, it looks bad because you can't really stretch anything. And so that was good, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, it looks really, really good, Knock. Like, I keep, I wanna look at it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, so pretty. Yay, this was such a fun challenge. Tiffany, if you're watching, thank you so much for reaching out. It's been such a wonderful experience working with you. And what you have done with that I sent you is truly amazing. And I couldn't have imagined that that was what's gonna be done with what I sent you. So for everyone who's watching, please go to her channel and check it out because you would be blown away. All the links are down below. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time.